And that was a great stop. They came in, splashed the fuel back out onto the racetrack, able to get back out in front of Kevin Harvick. But it's William Byron. Has he saved enough? Now two seconds separating Byron from Hamlin. Under six laps to go at Pocono. And you think my telestrator works bad? You see my fuel mileage notes back here. here. Yeah, the 18 start to put the pressure on Denny. I think Kyle just has a better race car. I mean, at some point, if they both make it, right, it, now it's going to be who has the better car. Byron has the best car, obviously being able to hold that two-second lead now. We've seen that kind of pace out of him yesterday. You only have to win this race by a little bit. So William Byron can still give up two seconds over the next five laps, saving fuel, and still win this race. So here it is. Everybody was about four, three or four laps short. Now is when, if cars are going to start running out, it's in this window. We are finally here. The anticipation is going to end soon. Who's going to make it? So look at the speeds now. William Byron, 165. Denny Hamlin, 165 and a half. So William Byron picked it up a little bit. Doesn't even have to pick it up that much. Can still back up just a little bit. Again, one car leads enough to win the race. They were running 55 mid-second laps. Now it's 54 mid-second laps. They've picked it up at least a second a lap. And think about William Byron. I mean, go all the way back to end of stage one. That, that pass of Truex is what changed his entire day. Get, kept him in this situation. Can he get fortunate enough? I'm going to call it lucky, but can he be fortunate enough that that few feet of racetrack falls his way again? And you see they, you know, Larson's passed Kurt. They still haven't turned Kurt loose yet. He's back there waiting on his, his opportunity to turn. Go. He may be the guy that ends up winning this race because he was the one that saved and was smart. These other guys may have went too early. Sometimes, you know, Pulling the reins back is the move of the race. One and a half that seconds. That good. You pull the wing. Maintain your save. You're fine. I love the conviction of that. <laughs> yep. Right? Like, low that fuel was... Oh, oh he said low fuel pressure. Well, that's got to be... Pit, pit, pit. Uh, they to go here. Called him pit road and he didn't get there. Already by the pit oh, entrance. Pit. Now are we... Are we there. playing poker here and maybe calling something thinking, on the radio? I don't know why the Ooh. advantage would be in that. He's still got the pace coming around turn one. The car's still accelerating off onto the long pond straightaway. He's flipped the switch to the, the backup, right, Steve? If he's He was told to do that, Rick, okay. yes. But Usually that only gives you, what, a lap. Run it out or do I have to come this time? There you go. Do you want me to run it out? You got to come. You got to come. You got to come. Says, Listen. That switch isn't going to get us three laps. So, so the reason the bottom of the screen matters is, remember, safe, safe, safe. Guys, we know have enough fuel. Brad and Kevin. So Kevin doesn't know this. Chasing down Brad Kozlowski for what seems like six could be first here in two more laps. And remember, you guys called this. William Byron didn't start saving seconds. fuel early enough. But we think Hamlin and Kyle Busch may have started early enough. They crossed the start-finish line. Two laps to go. Kyle Busch. I keep saying it, had a lap more fuel. Did it a lap later than Denny Hamlin. Off of three, and now we're going to push back up two. All right, so there's instructions that said if you come off from three and you're seeing the white flag, flip the switch now. We don't need to see you again. If you get all the way to there without seeing it, then I would assume you can finish at that point. Tony Hirschman, the spotter for Kyle Busch, said pressure the 11. We're better on fuel. Run him out of gas. Oh, oh, no, he's oh, running no. out. Kyle Bush said I have to flip the come. switch. Actually, Kyle Larson behind them said I have to flip the switch. Denny is sitting there part throttle down here in the turn three. Kyle Bush going now to now the outside. Come. Here now we Kyle, go. Kyle Bush needs to back it way up. 11's coming to pit road, so Kyle Bush now takes over the lead, taking the white flag. One more white flag. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Does he have two and a half miles of fuel? Jeff, you mentioned it. Pitted one lap later. Could that be the difference? We will see if he can finish this lap. Save it. Save it. He can, this lap can be really slow. Seven and a half seconds in front right now of Kyle Larson. Larson. Slow. Chastain's out. Chastain, yep. Yeah. Up in the middle of turn one. Kurt Busch is on pit road. Kurt Busch ran out. Can Kyle Busch find the fuel for a half a lap at Pocono? Max saving. Max saving. Mid long pawn. Now he's eight seconds in front of Larson. And still under power. Kyle Busch, what a day he's had. Can Keep he make tunnel. it all the way? Max. Still out. Still out. Unbelievable! Oh, yeah. Kyle 
Kyle Busch is going to win at Pocono. Say what you want about fuel mileage races, but that was entertaining to me. That was exciting all the way to the end. Hey, hey you know what? Let's make our transmission break every week at the right time. We come in and fix it. Hey, that fuel, it's all in the plan, man. There was another guy inside of his car at the pit stop working on linkage, and Kyle Busch is able to win this race at Pocono. And he has enough fuel to make it all the way around the racetrack. And then come back in front of the grandstands. It <laughs> the takes... pop, problem's going to be he's not going to be able to do a burnout in just fourth gear. Yeah, good point. I will say, though, you guys talk about the work that goes in. The amount of preparation for that style of race, not just the information on top of the pit box, but I can tell you over the radio, but we had better have discussed this before I just drop some knowledge on you over the radio. I mean, job, buddy. Ben Mayshew, Kyle Busch, just... I mean, a, a wonderful job of being on the same page. Second win of the season for Kyle Busch. It is the issue with the transmission that opens them up to the opportunity to come down pit road after, and get, you know, top off the fuel and get that extra lap. I mean, without that, they're pitting with everyone else, and they're in the same boat as all these other guys are. Look at that. This checkered flag moment brought to you by Advanced Auto Parts. And this will be a performance deserving of a bow. Kyle Busch saved enough fuel to outduel Denny Hamlin at the end of the race. They had come one lap later to pit road. And again, the car stuck in fourth gear. Once he was up to speed, he started saving fuel and wins the race. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.